Now, don't hate me, but I must tell you an unfortunate truth. The miracle of the oil is actually less credible than Santa Claus. It never happened. The plain truth is that if you're looking in the Jewish scriptures for the famous eight-day miracle of the Hanukkah lights, you'd have a better chance of citing Elvis, because not one single reference exists in the Jewish Bible for either of them. Hanukkah is simply not to be found in any Jewish Bible. Now, as I want you to know, that's not a shocker. You see, the events surrounding the first Hanukkah did not take place until several hundred years after the last book of the Hebrew Bible was written. Our Bible was finished before Hanukkah happened. Therefore, the Hebrew Bible is silent about Hanukkah because the canon of Jewish scripture was already closed. But what about the miracle of the oil? I mean, that is clearly the focus of the celebration today. And the lack of any literary or historical evidence, it's just a fact that somebody should discuss. And that's why I'm here. Many hundreds of years elapsed after the first Hanukkah before anyone talked about the alleged miracle. Now, I realize that the Maccabees didn't have CNN coverage, but I promise you that the miracle would have been in their press kit if they could have attached it with their resume. Like it or not, no reference to the miracle exists in any of the ancient Hanukkah literature or anywhere else. The Bible is silent about the story. Ancient historians, I mean, even prolific Jewish historians like Philo and Josephus made no mention of the alleged miracle. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a solid consensus of historical sources about the Maccabean revolt and their stunning victory. The literature of the era is clear about a rededication of the temple. Even an eight-day celebration is documented to honor our God and His redemptive work in the temple. But no one bothered to mention the oil miracle for nearly 400 years. Seriously, folks, call 911. I'm declaring a Hanukkah emergency. There was no oil miracle. So, what do you think? Did the temple oil get anointed by the ever-ready bunny to outlast the competition? I don't think so. Or the Easter bunny wouldn't be getting all the really good gigs. Look, I'm not into warm fuzzies and a touchy-feely kind of religion. I just want the truth. So how can we expect our kids to believe the real stuff when we try to convince them about fake stuff that is made to be equally plausible? No wonder generations can be lost to the truth of the Bible. It takes faith to believe in God and His miracles. Therefore, we shouldn't undermine true faith by exalting a myth. But why did we invent the story, and how did the myth find a place in our tradition? I don't want to disappoint or frustrate anybody. I just want to help folks sort out the facts from the fiction about Hanukkah. And I'll even send you my Hanukkah research, free of charge if you're interested. I promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. If you like, when I'm done, call your rabbi. Get verification about the things I'm telling you. If you doubt my research or the veracity of my claims, put them to the test. It's okay with me. Our modern festival of lights, it's loaded with myth-like errors. But you know what? I still think that Hanukkah might be a more appropriate festival for Christians to celebrate than Christmas. Does that sound a bit radical or perhaps sacrilegious? Just ask yourself this. Did the church celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah? It's easy to prove. Jesus was in the Hanukkah. The Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 22, clearly declares Jesus visited the temple to celebrate the feast of dedication. So why not? As I like to say, Jesus is Lord, and he was such a nice Jewish boy. You know, I think that modern Judaism and Western Christianity have both drifted from their original biblical practices. Perhaps both world religions should take a closer look at our unifying origins. Christianity was birthed as a Jewish sect with Jewish apostles who believed in the Jewish Messiah and worshiped the God of Israel in the land of Israel. During this holiday season, I hope you will identify the unbreakable link connecting our two faiths. 
Hanukkah is a perfect holiday to break through and overcome some of the confusion that exists between Jews and Christians. We both love the same God, and He would have us love one another. Both of our religions have some serious problems. Both faiths carry some pretty silly baggage. Can we demythologize a few things? Let me give you some examples. Do you realize that the New Testament church didn't have a New Testament? They read the Jewish Bible. They talked about a Jewish Savior in synagogue decades before they joined churches. Now, I love to remind folks that John the Baptist was not a Baptist. I want every Christian to understand that the earliest Christians were Jews. As such, it's helpful to reckon with your Jewish heritage. And Hanukkah holds a key 